The problem isn't the U.S. having the wrong president. The problem is the U.S. empire's existence. Notes from the Edge of the Narrative Matrix. The reason I find myself fighting with both Harris supporters and Trump supporters is because they see the other party as the problem, while I see the U.S. empire itself as the problem. They seek to make things better by ensuring that the empire is under the correct management, while I seek the end of the empire. People say things like, Oh, but Kamala Harris speaks so compassionately about the suffering of the Palestinians. These dupes had eight years of Obama speaking eloquent, compassionate-sounding words while continuing and expanding all of Bush's ugliest policies, and they still haven't learned the lesson here. Call me naive, but I am truly, legitimately shocked that the Democrats are running on such a warmongering platform instead of pretending to stand for peace this election season. Between the new party platform attacking Trump for not starting a war with Iran, Harris talking about having the most lethal fighting force in the world, and pledging to protect U.S. interests from Iran and Iran-backed terrorists, this is the kind of campaign you'd expect to see from an ultra-hawk Republican like Tom Cotton or John Bolton. But those Republican warmongers are not popular enough within their own party to secure its nomination. I really was not expecting the Democrats to be campaigning like this. Certainly, I was expecting them to govern as extreme warmongers like Biden has been, but to sell the American people on it on their actual election platform is really surprising. Usually, they put a lot of effort into campaigning as the responsible adults in the room. Instead, they're openly going all Dr. Strangelove and yee-hawing on the bomb. There is normally a lot more distance between who Democrats are and who they pretend to be. It's so wild because they're just handing Trump another easy vote for me, I'm the peace candidate campaign like they did when they lost in 2016. All they need to do is lie and say they'll bring about peace. And instead they're practically campaigning on starting a war with Iran. Here's a headline from Newsweek. Green Party candidate says she will not end her 2024 bid and is prepared for accusations she took votes away from Kamala Harris. It's a comment from Caitlin. What an insane, backwards headline. Like the normal expectation is that an American political party will not run a presidential candidate as it has every election since 1996. And the self-evident fact that it will run a candidate is the scandalous news story that needs reporting. This Jill Stein needs to drop out nonsense is so tedious and stupid. Democrats literally just saw what happens when your party's candidate drops out. They're replaced with another candidate. That's what would happen if Stein dropped out. If you don't think third parties should be allowed to exist in America, just say that. Don't invent some fictional alternate reality universe where Jill Stein emerges out of nowhere every few years to steal votes from Democrats like some villain in a video game, and where getting rid of her would get you those votes back. Stein shows up as a presidential candidate because she's the most popular candidate in a political party Americans created because they wanted that party to exist. Your argument isn't with Jill Stein, it's with Americans who don't like your shitty imperialist political party. Either convince them that war and justice are awesome or stop being such murderous tyrants. The more you accuse me of supporting Trump for criticizing the sitting administration's genocidal atrocities and warmongering, the more you demonstrate to me that you have no real values and that you support Democrats for the same reason you support your favorite sports team. When it comes to fomenting leftist revolutionary sentiment, Harris, not Trump, seems like the preferred accelerationist candidate. A lot of young people became politically aware during the Trump years, and therefore thought the Democrats were on their side. It wasn't until Biden got in and started committing genocide that their eyes were opened to the evils of the Democratic Party. If Trump gets in, the Democrats will go back to playing the good guys again. While if Harris gets in, she appears poised to unleash some major nastiness in the world in front of a bunch of newly emerging leftists who recently had their eyes opened to the murderousness of the empire by what Biden has been doing in Gaza. I am not endorsing revolutionary accelerationism here. 
I'm just saying, if you are an accelerationist on the left, then that's probably the direction you'd prefer to see things go.